Well, bundle up or stay inside, better yet, as this blast of Arctic weather rumbles through the state. It's the kind of weather that takes your breath away and leaves you wondering why you went outside in the first place. It's freezing out. I don't like it at all. I want to move somewhere warm. Teens and single digits dug in across the state today and the wind made it feel even colder. Well, it's New England. It's New Hampshire. I would rather not have it. <laughs> I'd much rather be in sunny Florida. I mean, I'd say it's, yeah, it's cold, but it could be worse. It could be way worse. <laughs> That's one of those things where it builds character. <laughs> While most people seem to face this Arctic blast with humor and a shrug, Experts say these temperatures and the wind chill can be serious business. I think that it is to the point where it's, it can be deceptively dangerous. dangerous. Dr. Tom Heffernan says exposed skin is the biggest problem for cold-related problems. What's worse, he says, is in these conditions, you could be getting frostbite so quickly you don't even know it. Dr. Heffernan says obviously the best advice is stay inside. But if your job forces you to brave the elements, he says, listen to your body. I think if you have to go out, you know, just use you know usual precautions. That would be just layering uh, is very important. I think, and if you're going to be outside, uh, stay active. I think you can generate some heat. And don't forget about your pets. Be sure that your pet uh, is covered up, has some kind of protective clothing. Animals that really don't have fur on their ears probably shouldn't be outside for very long. You know, wind would be a factor for frostbite development. Dr. Killaway also says be careful with ice melt, especially as the snow approaches. The dogs will get that on their pads, then they'll lick their pads, it'll get inside their mouth, and then eventually inside their stomach. She says always use a pet-friendly ice melt. Reporting live in Manchester, Andy Hershberger, WMUR News 9.